All right, we're back. I finally got my controllers working. I've been having a hell of a week getting everything uh, functional. Oh, that's weird. Right. I have to do this whole process again. I think this is what I lost when I lost my Seifa. That's really demoralizing, by the way. Like, is it... Uh, as a gamer, usually when I lose footage... Or lose footage. When I, like, have to replay something, I don't mind. But as a YouTuber, if I lose footage, it sucks. Because, you know, not only do I have to replay through an area... But I also have to re-entertain through an area to some degree. I mean, I guess I can just replay play through the area silently and stuff like that. But like, well, no. If I lose footage, that is 100% not something I can do. Now, if I remember it, I'm the only hitbox that matters here. Okay, and screwed that one up, but that's fine. I actually don't remember if that's fine or not. Oh well. I mean, I... Whatever whatever was over there, I think I can actually get back to it. I think that's actually for coming back up to some degree? I forget. Yeah, it's for coming... It's for coming back up. I, I remember. But yeah, if you're wondering where the episodes have been, I punched my wireless dongle, which is how it connects my controllers to my computer. And, uh... I tried using my Xbox... I don't know. It's not for coming back. That might have been a treasure chest or something. I don't remember. I did it perfectly earlier, so screw it. I guess I never lost footage for this. I just lost the save file. Ah, whatever. I've got to go through the through with this. You guys might as well deal with it, too. Get back here, crab. There we go. Why does the cannon do less damage than my hook? I have questions. I have many questions. Oh well. It's not like it's too time consuming. Oh. I guess the crab can just exist down there. I guess that actually makes sense. Nope. Yeah, so we just wanna... Okay, let's... There we go. Easy peasy. I think that one actually stays in position forever. Okay. So let's do this again. Tink. Now if I remember right, we've got to hit a switch. Uh... I, I know what I'm supposed to do here. Kinda. Okay, so you know that, uh, that barrel we found? We're supposed to roll it along this. I mean, that much was pretty obvious. At first, I thought I was supposed to get a cart and the barrel was, like, something else. What is he doing? I'm not entirely sure. That was a weird, weird critter. Also, money. Technically, I could get that other money, but whatever. Precision platforming. Not a strong suit right now. I'm tired. Oh. Okay, so that's just food. My health is looking fine. I w there was something up here. I think it was a nav pearl. Okay, so I did. I did lose the progress. I must just not have saved when I teleported back up, which is stupid. Why did I press B there? This game really does remind me of, uh... This game really does remind me of the, uh, It'll Do games. I mean, more functional world and more concrete plot, but most definitely, like, uh, very It'll Do-y. Okay, so let's let's try and barrel this properly. How do we How do we get it onto these platforms? 
Because I thought they turn around before they... No, I guess I'm very much incorrect. Okay, screwed that one up. I more or less have to be ready for it, and it was not. I really wish there was a save point down here. Dang it. I, I like, hopped on the barrel too late. I think I have to get on the other platform first. Why did I do this? Because falling is going to mess me up. Nope! Huh. Okay. I don't think I can trust it at this point. Let's get right there. There we go. Okay. Almost got this. There we go. Moonwalk to victory. And we've already gotten rid of all the, the plant things, so I think we're good. Okay, so the minecart actually is something else. Yeah, see, this is why I was kind of confused. Oh, no. This is why I was kind of confused. Nope! go. That was worrying. Yeah, this is why I was kind of confused, because you never actually get the barrel up to the rail cart section. Because you never needed to. Well. Oh well, this works out. Still don't know what to do about Space Traveler Man, but we'll figure that out later. I'm not sure what that thing does and it scares me, but we're just gonna keep going. Oh, boy. Can I get a save point soon? Lack of save points is usually just really worrying for me. Okay, so I assume we're supposed to go straight up here. We've got a barrel. We got a... Oh, well, this is easy. Partially easy. Okay. Maybe less easy than I thought it was going to be. Oh, you can't hold down to... Oh. I gotta bring the rock with me. Do I, or is there another rock? I'm gonna explore around for a bit. Not here. Might as well get a good preview of the area at least. Nope, nothing. All right, let's just let's just speed back for a second. So I probably have to bring the rock over here. I guess that button stays press because I don't see any other buttons in the area. Yep. Yeah, I did know that you could press up and down to actually speed things along a little bit. That that actually is quite helpful. Nope. Okay, you gotta keep this one pressed. Is there there's gotta be yep. Oh, I get it. Now we go back, get the other rock, and go from No I know there is no other rock. means there's a rock here. Oh, glorious. Well, the nice part is the uh, rock doesn't reset. Hey, treasure chest. Okay, he's just glitching out. That's very strange. And this gets us a barrel. And, uh, 
Well, I think that's all we needed to do. I don't remember. There is a need to get above. But I think we get above with the uh, treasure chest. Can I grab these? Oh! Okay, so I can, but I gotta be quick about it. I don't know what that did. Oh! Raises the water level. That would explain these things. Now if I remember right, yeah. The boat is fine, and... Oh no. I'm doing this wrong. I need that barrel. Because I can't jump high enough with the boat. Okay, well it's fine. I... my barrel mastery skills have improved. However... Let me rethink this. I am going elsewhere first. There's still no save point. Terrifying, though hopefully that door counts as one. Yeah, we've got this whole area up here. That we haven't properly been through. I'm just gonna bully this plant creature. There we go. Because, yeah, there's a treasure chest up here. And I want to get it. Can I just beat the tar out of it? Yes, I can. Oh, and we get a... we get a... plant phlegm. Specimen sample. I didn't even think about that. And we got... a plant hat. Made from dead plant matter. What's it do? It doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe the plants think of me as one of their own? I mean, it looks cool, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know how to avoid taking damage there. I assume I wasn't supposed to come up this way. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it makes the plants ignore me. I'm assuming that's only for the, uh, spitter biter plants and not the, like, weird cycling... Yeah, these things. No, these look like... blood covered blades. E. Ah, I did take damage. I was like, my, my tempo here might just be enough to get me through safely. The answer is no. Well, that's fine. Huh. What is this place? Can you understand me? Ever since my spy plane flew into that vortex, I've been lost in time and space. Now I'm trying to find my way home. I worked out how to utilize these portals for myself, but no matter how many portals I find, they never take me home. This one here goes up to the surface. It's useless to me, but if you'd like to go to the surface, I can activate it. I'm, like, a little bit afraid of using one of those. I'm fairly certain I can't kill the robots. Okay. Correction. I'm fairly certain I can kill the robots. It just... Well, takes some doing. Anyway, so I've got my shovel here, so I can actually shovel through some of that. Can't shovel through that, though. Well, we might as well use the cannon. Hopefully all of this doesn't just immediately disappear, or break on me, or something like that. Yeah, it's disappearing on me. I mean, not like most of the money really matters. In fact, it's mostly just single denominations, but at the same time, I don't know.
Let's see. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna break things for a little while. It's kind of fun anyway. And the rest of this I can dig out on my own. Probably stay away from the exact blast radius of said bomb. Let's see, I should be able to get back up here. Doesn't look like there's anything else though. Okay, whatever, we broke it all. That's good enough. So we have a shortcut of sorts. Nothing there. Unfortunately, it seems like I might need the shovel blade for this. Because I can't destroy some of those things. Yeah, I can't hurt these. And there was something there. I can't do anything to that. So yeah, we do need to go back up to the surface. I hope that shortcut remains. One second. There's at least something here. We get... Oh, just a page from Begas' private journal. My research into the location of the 12 legendary treasures led us to the desert island of Tenerife. We've been here for weeks, searching the old pyramids and digging for sand, uh, digging in the sand for clues. Currently, we've set up a dig inside the bigger of the two pyramids. Wait, we've already read this. Oh, we found a cavern of glowing pink crystals. I believe them to be Extium crystals, which are unique for their energetic properties. Now that most electronics run on the crystals, it's rare to see so many completely untouched. If we had the right equipment and know-how, we could mine ourselves a fortune here. Unfortunately, the crystals are also very dangerous to handle. For now, we'll have to forego the get-rich-quick scheme and continue our treasure hunt. Okay, so I think at this point we go through here. I don't think there's a way to go back. So I might have to just repeat the whole process. It's unfortunate. But I gotta go find that shovel blade, wherever it is. We found most of these. So we have something over here. At the very tippy top. We have a sword there, but I haven't figured that out yet. We have that, but I need the horizontal. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get the, uh... Horizontal shovel blade. Until I find that... We're not going to be able to do anything. Okay, so I looked it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. So i got to figure out which one is Tenerife Island. Soul 4. So, to get the shovel stab technique, I've got to go here. Okay. So we got to go back to the pyramids. I, maybe I'll go digging for that stupid uh, ring again. It's got to be around here somewhere. I just don't know which one or where. Oh, you know what? I think I know. I... Th mm. Well, I haven't saved in ages. So let's... Let's do that. Yeah, that's that's why I never saved. Uh, and lost all my progress with the... That's why I lost all my progress with the... Uh, uh, with the underground crystal area. Dang it. Ugh. <sighs> Unfortunately, the character isn't always in the center of the camera, which works in some games, but not all others. Throws me off just a little bit. Okay, so we're looking for a scroll somewhere around here, and I think I know where it is. Okay, we've already dug that out, unless I'm wrong. Let's go back here for the upteenth time. Let's just go in.
Let's see, I already got the secret thing in there, and I don't imagine that it's anywhere here. Don't turn around on me, you jerks. Okay. So how do we do this? Because I swear I've checked this entire area before. Like, I swear I've gotten rid of every last inch of sand. But I guess I haven't. Okay, so what I want to do... is go here? Because she said it was in this pyramid. I mean, it'd be hilarious if we've somehow lost, like, the ring just won't show up, period. Uh, it would ju be just my luck, honestly. Okay, so let's dig down here. I guess go grab the cash. Dig down here. So now I can get back up through there. Let's work on this side. Because you think the ring would be... She said just go digging for it, yeah? Buried in the sand or something or other. Okay, so we gotta dig this out first. Well, at least I'll get small amounts of treasure. Okay. Yeah, it could just be hiding in one of these corners, and I just, just like, totally missed it when I was going through. Yep, here it is. I must have checked the other side. Okay, Mindy and Eunice forever. So there, there's, there's our missing key that I just totally blanked on. Well, blanked on? I don't know. Failed to notice as I went through. I think I just always checked the right side. Unfortunately, because we're we're locked to one side versus the other based on um, what time of day it is. It's super easy to get messed up there. Anyway. You found my ring? I can't believe it. It's been so long. Eunice and I were spelunking in musty, dimly lit catacomb. Uh, dimly lit catacomb, surrounded by skulls and bones when he proposed to me. It was the most romantic moment of my life. Nah. Uh. I don't understand why you wanted to give up on a life of adventure and excitement to work for Global Corp. Ah, I don't know why I want to see this ring again. It's not good for anything, but bringing it back, uh, good for anything, but bringing back bad memories. Listen, kid, I'm just going to give this back to you. Do whatever you want with it. Pawn it. I don't care. So we probably have to go find Eunice next. Okay, so that's, that's the ring over and done with. Ah, uh, right. The other thing I was going to check out while I was here. We gotta figure out how to get up. I don't... I might not be able to do that in retrospect. Like, we meet, we might need a, a jump booster to get where I need to go. Oh, I might have to look up somewhere else to, to go to get where I want. Banana! Oh, wait, no, no. Nope, I still can't. Banabra! It's gone. Okay, yeah, whatever we're looking for is on the top of that pyramid. Uh, there's a scroll up there that I gotta get to, and I can't get to there right now. Not this way. I'm not really sure where to go, actually. So, to get the scrolls, I need to go to Tumba, Tumba Island. Oh, well, no. To get the high jump, I need to get to Tumba Island. To get that scroll, I actually have no idea. Well, hmm, I don't know. Let's head back to Tumba Island. Maybe I can figure out something there. I... <sighs> That's the other reason why the, uh, the series stalls sometimes. I'm not very good at figuring this game out. Like, I try. I'm trying pretty hard. But, uh, it, it seems like this kind of weird cyclical logic of, like, either I'm missing something major, or I'm approaching from the wrong direction. I should probably just go back and talk to Bagus, but... Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go to Shroom Island and let's see if we can figure it out. Because there's... There's a legendary treasure down there. There's also the jump boots. And I think I need the jump boots to get on top of the pyramid. Yeah, I'm aware that's down there, but I can't get to that. 
Unless there's like a, a super sneaky impossible to find jump spot. Or jump spot? Dig spot? Or like a, a secret cavern? Because we had the barrel over here. The only other thing I could think about being is... Well... What if we do need the fire? Like, what if what if I can blast fire with, uh... Or blast... Sand with the fire? I actually haven't tried it yet. Nope. So how do I... No, I can't get the fire out of there. I'm... Well, let's go see Bagus. Let's see if he has anything new for us. And if he doesn't have anything new, then we probably have to go back to the the Angel Oak Island. Is it Angel Oak? I don't really remember. But maybe we just have to go back there and figure that out. Because, like, for the life of me, I can't think of where else to go. I don't even know if that would give me much of a... Assistant. Oh, I'm uh, going the wrong way. The museum's back over here. It's easy to forget the... based on the silhouettes, sometimes. Okay, so let, let's go see about him. Oh! I did get multiple legendary treasures. I don't think I've turned them in yet. Okay. Right. I totally forgot forgot about this. Maybe this is something that I needed to do before I can get some of this stuff. Like maybe it might just be uh, legendary treasure re rewards. Might not be, because I I totally forgot that I got like two new ones last time we were playing. I'm just glad I don't have to re redo all of this business. It's not like I was against it, but it'd be like, um, if every time you beat a Robot Master in a Mega Man game and it's just like, Hey, by the way, you have to, uh, go through a little bit of Sigma's castle to get whatever key you need to, like, continue on. Ugh. So I think this is where we get off. I don't think we can go any lower than this. Yeah, so I gotta get past this. I think I'm just gonna kill this guy. Turn around. Dang it. Because the other guys are really easy to kill. Because all I have to do is just jump and shoot. And they just die. Dang it. Shot too late. I mean, I could just try and use my hook. It might be easier. Yeah, probably just easier. Otherwise, I can just jump over this guy. Not that big of a deal. Not like I'm in that bad of a position here. Okay, so we gotta light every fire. Really curious how much of this game you can sequence break if you know where everything is. Oh. Alternatively, is this one of those where you have to do it in order? No?
What? Damn it, this isn't one of the most obtuse games I have ever played. It's not a pattern, is it? It... I can't imagine it's timed. I... Yeah, so that's what you're supposed to do. Got it. It just... Just feels... How would I phrase it? It feels difficult for difficulty's sake. I guess would be the phrase to use. I think I had another one here, yeah? Yeah. Like, was that really a puzzle, or was that just a trial, I guess? Time trial? I don't know, I'm not a big fan of time trials in games. I think it's not so bad. It's just one of those where it's just like... I, I prefer to play puzzle games that, you know, make me think as opposed to just make me frustrated. Now, we might have to turn back around. I don't know if I actually have enough here. We'll see. No. I don't have enough. I should have brought more. Because now we just have to turn right back or Oh, no. We have to do this whole thing again. Freaking goddammit, Bagus. I mean, if we're lucky, those torches will stay lit forever or the door will stay open, maybe? Uh, but if I have to do that fire puzzle again, I'm gonna be a bit... bit cheesed. Really is Sigma's castle, but for... puzzles. I don't know. I... I guess I love puzzle games for, you know, puzzle... the kind of challenge of solving it, and not the... Are you fast enough and adept at the controls enough to light all four torches in the uh, very short allotted amount of time? And it's just like, hmm. No, generally, generally that's actually something that I just prefer to check out on games. What games would do that? I, uh, the ones where you have to press the like uh, timed puzzle and race to the finish, otherwise the door will uh, the door will close on you and stuff like that. It's infuriating.